air, water, earth, fire. The world is currently in an unprecedented time of peace. Avatar Roku, with the help of the Air Nomads, worked tirelessly to ensure balance is maintained between the four nations, but not even the Avatar can be everywhere at once. In the heart of the Fire Nation, a heated storm is brewing. Fire Lord Sozin and his sister Princess Saison vie for political dominance, and with the arrival of Air Nun Raishan, tensions are at an all-time high. With the Avatar away, new heroes must rise, or this Cold War could soon turn very hot. Hey everyone, welcome to the Avatar Legends RPG. My name is Lily Sparks and I will be your game master for today. We're going to start by exploring some of the basics and locking in the rest of our character creation. Let me introduce you to our friends. Oh, hey there. I'm Becca Scott. I'm so excited to be here playing. Um, thanks so much to Avatar Studios for having us. And I'm going to be playing an airbender, naturally. And I'm Dante Bosco. And today I'm playing Outlaw Firebender. Woo. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. I'm Jenny Kwan. And today I'm playing ZB. And guess what? I am a waterbender. Ooh. <laughs> All right, and I'm Ify Wadiway, and I'm playing Bowen, an Earthbender, so you know it's going to get him. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it rocks. It's going to get real. Rocks. rocks. <laughs> we rock. Oh. Why don't we go around, and let's just start off with giving a little brief summary of our characters. Now, our players here have created the basics of their characters, but what we're going to do now is we're going to finish picking their moves so that we can talk about some of the really cool moves in Avatar Legends RPG, and then we're going to build the story of how these characters came together. So let's go around, and I'm going to get all of you to just do like a brief introduction, like who who is your character? Where are they from? What do they do? Etc. cetera. Uh, let's go in the opposite direction this time. Let's start with ZB. All right, so my character is ZB, and ZB has come from a very privileged background, and um, I have been in royalty, but now that is not the case. Mm -hmm. Yes. So basically, I am living on the streets, Right. Mm -hmm. um, and the way that I get around is I use my witty personality <laughs> and uh, I've developed some really great skills. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, that our I, rogue skills. That's right. That's right. You know, when you're a rogue, you got you got to you got to know what's up. So, um, you know, I don't know. Like I've, I've, I know how to get into things very easily. I've taught myself how to do that. And uh, sometimes I use my charm and, and just uh, the jokes. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you, ZB, Thank our you. outlaw privileged waterbender. Oh. <laughs> and let's say hi to Bowen. Hey, yeah, so I'm going to be uh, running Bowen, who is the guardian archetype. Uh, he's an earthbender who, uh, you know, he grew up in Omashu, was 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 radicalized by <laughs> Grand Lector Willow, and, and wants to, you know, go ahead and get the earth sages back to their, mm. you know, familiar glory. Mm. So he's going around trying to find uh, disciples to to help him spread the word. Uh, and you know, one of his disciples is actually, uh, one of his disciples are actually sitting at the table right now, uh, which actually feeds into the guardian's ability of the protector's burden. Mm. So I have made uh, Becca's character my ward and a lot of my moves will be to protect her. But you know, I might protect some of y'all if uh, <laughs> hey. you need it. I don't know if I need protection, okay, but right. okay. All right. Well, that seems like a great segue into uh, Sister Nianchi. Okay. I'm going to say Sister Nyan, she's more of a junior sister, an airbender, <laughs> came from the Eastern Air Temple, and um, my background obviously is monastic. They're very serious, the airbenders, um, and that's not really my vibe, so I didn't always fit in there, um, but I also know a lot about the wilderness, you could say. I mean, the Eastern Air Temple is on these three beautiful hilltops fluttering around with dragonfly bunnies. Mm. I, of course, have a dragonfly bunny that likes to spend time with me. I call him Buzzle Bee. <laughs> and uh, Buzzle Bee is kind of like my protege, and then I am Bowen's protege. And uh, I feel like there's a lot I can learn from you. I got permission from the Air Temple to go out and fulfill my mission. 
And I've chosen that my mission is your mission. So let's go. Mm. Right. Permission was a strong word choice there. But yeah, I love it. Well, um, when I asked permission, they told me the elders of the temple, they don't care and I can do whatever I want. And um, so I took that as a yes. So. That's permission. Sounds like a yes to me. Yeah. And that is perfect for our bold playbook. Yes, I chose the bold playbook. Perfect. Mm. And last but certainly not least, Ezra. Ezra is uh, coming from the Hammer playbook, and he's uh, he's an outlaw kind of like urban kid. The thing is, as a young kid, he was he was he's a firebender, mm. and he was very gifted and he was very talented. But some things happened when he got banished out of the school and had to actually go and learn firebending from the streets. We'll find you know he does have a chip on his shoulder about who banished him and why, uh -huh. and wants to kind of go redeem himself and expose people out there but luckily he learned his firebending from the streets mm -hmm. <laughs> so he has a, he, you know he ended up learning instead of the traditional way through through just the the privileged way of learning mm -hmm. stuff but he still has a an amazing style and quite powerful. I see, a bad boy. Okay. Yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, we don't know any of those characters from Dante, of course. Yeah. So we have these four characters, all of you on your own little paths and missions mm -hmm. and things that you're trying to accomplish. And our story today is taking place in the Roku era. And specifically, this will be in the Fire Nation capital. So um, mm -hmm. normally, when you're running Avatar Legends, uh, you would choose a group focus. We have already chosen our group focus. Today we are trying to uh, protect the Guiding Winds ideals and learn some nefarious plans. So that being said, now we have to figure out what brings these four characters together. I always like to explain this as sort of like the pilot episode of our game. So the first thing I like to ask everyone is, what is your character doing in the Fire Nation capital? And as everyone gives sort of like the opening shot of what your character is doing, we're gonna try and build on that, tie them together. You know, maybe someone's walking through the background of someone else's opening shot, whatever it may be, we're gonna bring you together. We're gonna give you some conflict to overcome and that'll cement us as a group with a cause and a purpose. So who wants to go first? What is the opening shot of your character in the Fire Nation capital right now? We we kind of figured ours out. Yeah. So we can kick it off. You know, uh, you know we've we've been on our, our our joint pilgrimage for a while now. You know, Sister Nyanji has uh, decided that you know I've I've picked enough of our uh, you know uh, places that we're going to, and so now we're in the Fire Nation for this wedding. Wedding. <laughs> Yeah, do you, do you want to? Okay, I'm really glad that you agreed to come here because <laughs> the royal wedding could happen at any moment and we can't miss it. And so that's why I want to camp out on the street forever until the wedding happens. This is also a great opportunity to tell people about the greatness of the Earth's the sages and, and spread word of, you know, knowledge of, of, of building blocks, strong mm -hmm. walls. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I hand copied 500 flyers based on your words. Thank you so much. Uh, We'll need to put those up. Oh, I hand some to the people around us. So I feel like our opening shot of these two characters are probably in the uh, central square of the Fire Nation capital, just handing out flyers and also maybe trying to learn more about the celebrity wedding coming up between Princess Zaysan and her betrothed, Condro of the Guiding Wind. Big deal, big deal. Mm. Oh my gosh, Princess Cezanne is like, I think she's so beautiful, but inside and out. I don't know. Are you like saying this to him as you're like handing out to flyers? everyone I'm handing flyers to? Oh, also, um, earth bending is cool. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you know anything about royal wedding, have you heard anything? <laughs> Normally in Avatar Legends, uh, the group would discuss together and choose a group focus for what your game will be about. We have already discussed this, and our group focus today will be to protect Princess Zaysan from imminent threat. I live here. Mm -hmm. You understand? I'm from the Fire Nation. This is my this is my hometown. I'm kicking. I'm actually just getting done with my morning favorite cup of tea at my favorite spot, and uh, this thing's going on. It's like the town is popping right now. I see Earthbenders here, Air Nomad. Like, what's going on? I know the wedding's coming, mm -hmm. um, but I do have. Uh, I still have a chip on my shoulder. I, there are things that I want to accomplish, but it takes time. We gotta wait for the right time to expose the people I need to expose. Mm -hmm. But at this moment in time, it's a beautiful day in the Fire Nation, and we're at the town square, there's some things going on. I don't know. I want to see what's going to happen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Today may be a special day. We'll see. 
Mm. Absolutely, yes. It's very busy here in the city uh, square. As we said, there's a lot going on. The royal wedding is coming up. Um, and it's just, you know, one of those beautiful weekend days. It's nice to be out in the city. It's a beautiful time to be in the Fire Nation. And I will say there are a lot of marks around, a lot of rich looking people here, a lot of oblivious looking people here too. And that's what oblivious rich people look like. Oblivious, <laughs> right? They're very, very privileged and they, they carry their privilege on their sleeve. So I have been traveling around um, and I have just gotten to the Fire Nation Square. It's really hot here. It's really hot, there's a lot of people. And um, basically, I, uh, I'm trying to just slide under the radar. Um, and I have just seen this flyer uh, that has confirmed one of my suspicions, suspicions about the um, princess getting married. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, that is something that I'm definitely uh, taking in, for sure. <laughs> Yes. Perfect. So we see this scene. We see the two of you handing out flyers, geeking out a little bit about the royal wedding. We see Ezra sipping tea uh, on a tea shop patio. And then maybe, maybe we see ZB kind of weaving and ducking through the crowd. For sure. So in act one of our pilot episode, we are going to have some kind of conflict that will start to bring the group together uh, in a common cause. So we have some options here. We can befriend an ally who gives us access to a valuable item. We can discover a secret hidden by a powerful figure. We can do something fun, but make someone angry about it. Or we can learn some frightening plans of a powerful foe. Ezra looks like someone who'd be on the lookout for secrets and plans. I'm definitely secrets and plans. I want to see, because today could be the day. Yeah, yes. Yeah. And today is, in fact, the day you have been scoping out this tea shop for weeks now. They make great tea, but great also tea. we know that Minister Zianda, your adversary, mm. often does business around here. And I think today, as you're scanning through the crowd, seeing all of this hullabaloo going on, maybe Minister Zianda receives a flyer from our- uh, Everyone receives a flyer. <laughs> enthusiastic friends, yes. Read that, read that. That'll Trust me, it might blow your mind. He sneers at it a little bit and sort of discards it. Um, I pick it up. And, but he keeps walking, and I think he's gonna go into an alleyway and look very suspicious right now. He's definitely checking it out. What's Minister Zianda up to? He just talked to these fogies from out of town. <laughs> kind of brushed them off. I don't know what those guys are about. Uh, Would you like a flyer? I'm good at the moment. I'm okay, good. Okay, what if I just Thank put it in your pocket? Okay, I'll take it for later. I'll put one in this pocket and one in that. Y'all are from around here, huh? <laughs> no, no, definitely not. not. Do you no, want to hear about not. the Eastern Air Temple? No. Hold on one second. There's something going on in the alley. Okay. So I, I sneak through the back and I, and, I, and I go around the alley and I see Minister Zianda. And he's talking. I don't know who he's talking to. A group of interesting looking people, neutral clothing, in fact. You don't see that very often, people not wearing clothing of mm. one of the four nations. But uh. they are neutral, hooded, very mysterious looking. And you see him talking to like four or five of them, and then he passes them a scroll case. Okay. And then he leaves and goes in the other direction, and they put their hoods up and sneak off. Now, the three of you, well, the two of you, this interesting person, has just approached you, dis not cared about your flyer whatsoever, but then he goes to follow someone down an alley. Would that catch the interest of either of you? Yeah, yeah, no, we'd go and go, hey, we're not fogies, okay? Yeah, I, don't, <laughs> I, I don't need another flyer. I don't no, need another no, flyer, no, I already no, got no. one. Uh, okay, if you change your mind. A uh, Bowen, what's he doing? I don't know, he looks like he's sneaking around. He can't be trusted. That's suspicious, right? Yeah, we should do something suspicious. about that? Yeah, we should just keep following him. On it. Yeah. And then we turn to you. We had that conversation right in front of you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I go behind you. Uh, I'm very short. <laughs> with little pigtails in my hair. Uh, so I'm, we're kind of flanking you. Are you guys traveling together? Yes, we are. What are y'all doing in town? I put a flyer in your back pocket. <laughs> you guys came out here to pass out flyers? And, and to see this wedding. Oh, uh, you know. I love a royal wedding. 
wedding. Most people do. Mm. Most people do. I'm picturing the classic shot of like the alley wall and then it's like Ezra's head like <laughs> poking out like what's going on here? And then it's <laughs> Sister Nianchen and Bowen on top. And then probably inexplicably ZB is here too because ZB, we all know you love rabble rousing. Oh yeah. There is some rabble rousing happening. Here. So I see, what I see are these three people, this little one and I see this, the other two she is slipping something in the back pocket, and I, I need to get in on this. Like, I need to know. I feel like I have seen um, the one who's denying this flyer before, so I'm very curious to know what's really happening over there. Like, w what is being kept? So, we see this, all of us then, witness this exchange of the scroll case from Minister Zianda's hand, who, the three of you probably don't know who he is, but Ezra certainly does. And of course, hooded figures are always suspicious, yeah. so they melt into the alleyway. So this is the beginning of what cements us as a group. Now, in act two, we are gonna do something else. We are either going to steal a valuable item from a powerful foe, discover a terrible truth about a location or powerful figure, defend an ally or place from a powerful foe, or destroy a valuable item and make someone angry about it. Is Bowen wearing any sort of like cloak? Oh well, I'm I'm kind of in like this the kind of like typical just like Toph, which is like the kind of like beige smock, uh, green sleeves. But um, I have no sleeves on my arms because guns are out. Ripped, yeah, ripped. <laughs> guns uh, are yeah. out. Yeah, I work in the mail service in Omanju, so like I'm brolic. Mm. Uh, so I'm looking really. Well, no, it's heavy. You moving? You moving weight? Yeah, yeah, I'm moving weight. <laughs> uh, and Great. earth. Then it's not uh, your sleeve I tug on, it's the bottom of your tunic every time I'm trying to communicate okay. with you. <laughs> Did you see that scroll? I want to know what it is. It's probably, you know, like some kind of ledger of some sorts that has information. He seems like one of those political types. The politics that we should be worried about, the ones back in my nation, get the Earth Sages back to their glory. Definitely, we'll do that. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And using the principles of the guiding wind, I think it could really be an awesome team up, team up between two nations. You make a good point. Yeah. <gasps> the two of you have no idea what they're talking about. I have no idea what you're talking about, but I can tell you this. I've been waiting for the day, and today may be that day. What, what are you waiting for? <laughs> I don't know, but I just have this feeling this guy we have to find out what's on that scroll. Hey, I I, I want to find out what's on that hold scroll. Hold on, hold on, where'd you, where, where'd you come from? I come from everywhere. <laughs> now that's, that's physically. That's where did she come from? I just <laughs> slipped in, thank you. I appreciate that. Yes, I, I do come from everywhere. I'm a part of this nation now. Okay. I feel like as the four of you are like getting this game plan together, these hooded figures are like out yeah. of sight already. <laughs> where, like, we need Let's to find out where Let, these people are Let's going. follow them, let's they're, they're going, let's move. Perfect. So you follow them to a nondescript building. I think, I think it has a bit of a courtyard in it that maybe we can hide behind some like planters and garden things and whatever, and maybe all our heads poke out again. Um, do we want to try and steal the valuable item for, or do we want to try and destroy it? Ooh. Yeah, no, we don't, we won't worse. know, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hold yeah. on a second. You're the sneaky one. Yes. What can we do? Can we get our hands on that scroll? Well, I think if we all go in, walk at four different points, one of us detracts the attention from Are the Are you next. a general or something? What's going on here right now? <laughs> this is very impressive. Yes. Okay, keep going. One of us distracts the hooded figures, and then I can do a nice move to, maybe I do a little flip and do a little magic, they get distracted, someone slips the squirrel away. Mm -hmm. I think I have an idea of the distraction. Uh, Me too. Oh, yeah. I take oh, some of the flyers and start walking towards the oh, 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 Wait yeah. a minute, wait a minute. Don't I worry, he knows what he's doing all the time. He's really good at everything. This fuzzy thing, this fuzzy, fuzzy thing that's with you. Buzzleby? <laughs> is that what you call it? It's a dragonfly bunny. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 whatever that is. Um, does it have any special powers? Oh, well, friendship. It has the power of friendship. friendship. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, let's great. make friends with the awesome. squirrel people. That's a good one. That's, That's a good great. one. Hmm. Okay. What about flyers? You have some sort of flyer action going on. Do they know what's going on with what's going on in the city today? Uh, no, the flyers pretty much talk about Earth's ages, uh, which I can tell you about right now. Oh, so no, okay. Yeah, yeah. No time for that. Yeah. No time for that. 
So the plan is the distraction. Yes. And then we're gonna have our rogue slip in and steal the scroll case. So Easy. Nianchi and uh, Bowen, you two approach with your flyers. You start doing your thing, the thing that you always do, you know, royal wedding, save the earth stages. Sure. Ezra, where are you in this scene? Well, I'm looking from behind to see what these guys, I don't really have a lot of uh, just trust that this is going to work. <laughs> yeah. So what I'm going to do while you guys do your little out of town distraction. Excuse me, a uh, hooded cloaked figure? Yeah. I'm going to be on the other side of the film well. You walk in there, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a burst of fire over here mm. and just distract him for one second. I'm giving you one second. I'm not even telling you that. I hope you know that you're gonna have one second to steal this scroll. That's all we got. They must be used to your fire tricks. No, no, I'm going to, when in the hall, there's a painting. I've never liked that painting. <laughs> that painting's going. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We can make that happen. Let's go. It all happens exactly as we say. So fire, flyers, sneak. You manage to get the scroll case. But Guys. as you're pulling it out, you see the name, uh, you see the name uh, Cezanne on the scroll very quickly. But then more hooded figures come out of the building. They spot you with the scroll case. In act three, we will need to either fight and barely defeat these powerful foes narrowly escape capture by these powerful foes, save or rescue someone from them, or be saved or rescued by someone. Now, if we want to be saved or rescued by someone, then I have an idea if we would like yeah. to. And also maybe some therapy would be good. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, she, mean, she I mean, might not have that for you, but we'll <laughs> see. So. These hooded figures come out. There's a whole group of them now. Fire I run, picture. Fire run, fire run, fire run, fire run, fire <laughs> run. Sounds good. Uh, ZB, you were just standing there with I'm the frozen, <laughs> so to speak. When all of a sudden a wind blows across the courtyard, mm -hmm. and stepping into the courtyard would be a familiar figure <gasps> to you, Sister Nianshin, as this is Ernan Rioshan, who says, "What's going on here?" And all of the hooded figures sort of like turn and look to her. And Ernan Rioshan will say, this is the house that I am residing in right now. And I believe that all of you, speaking to the hooded figures, are trespassing. I drop to the floor, completely prostrate, and flyers go flying. <laughs> Just like the cinematic shot would see Rioshan give you like a small smile, but then she turns back to the hooded figures. I'm going to need all of you to leave immediately. Now, it does say that we will be saved by Rioshan to her own detriment. So something is going to happen here that, you know, is not gonna go well for her. What do we think? Any ideas, thoughts? That was her favorite painting? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the nobles that are housing her are probably not going to be pleased about this. It's a little touch up yes. on the place. So yeah. see, she's gonna have to cover your butts for a little bit, but I think that will be how we all came together, and then we can explore the contents of this scroll. Well, she's we stepping out on a limb for us. She is. Yeah. Without she is. really directly knowing exactly because yeah. she's a guest here right a barely you know accepted guest here so she is definitely going out on a limb to save all of you the hooded figures disperse and there we are left with one of the renowned air nuns of the guiding wind wow. Wow. and wow. that is our inciting incident do we still have a scroll we still have we the still scroll. Have the scroll we have the scroll i do have the scroll but the scroll has fallen to the ground <laughs> The scroll has fallen to the ground. Oh, that's very embarrassing. Did you drop this? I didn't mean to. Oh, I wasn't judging your yeah. ability to hold things. Great. Beautiful, everyone. Oh God, I just want her to like me. <laughs> All right, so that was our character creation inciting incident. Now, the last thing we're gonna go over really quickly is your connections, how you feel about each other. So I'm gonna get all of you to look at your playbook sheets, turn it to the back side of it, um, and you'll see a little section there called connections. Uh, the other side. <laughs> You're good. So under connections, you all have initial impressions, ideas, opinions about each other. Read over these fill in the blanks and let us know what you think about what your connections are. I'll kick it off. Yeah, go okay. for it. So I know my connection to Bowen because we've already created that um, along with the character. Mm -hmm. So uh, since we only have two, I made mine with ZB and Ezra. So cool. ZB, mine says ZB scoffs at me and my plans. 
one day I'll show them what I can do. <laughs> uh, so, you know, I'm trying to impress you, trying to like get your attention. Right. Maybe that's not something easily won. Mm -hmm. I won't stop trying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and for Ezra, I notice Ezra has a pretty good head on their shoulders. They're a great sounding board for my ideas. So basically, I think you are super cool. I'm a little bit scared of you because you're intimidating. Ah, uh, come on. Uh, ah. <laughs> um, so like, I of course want to impress Bowen, but like, I'm going to, I'm going to try and test out if I can, if I come up with a plan, I'll see if you like it to know if it's cool or not. Well, I'm flattered because you see, I, I worry that you sister, uh, Nyan Chi. What is it? Nyan Chi. Nyan Chi's. I'm worried that you won't be able to hold your own when things get tough. Why would you think that? I don't know why. And I'm, that. I'm gonna personally toughen you up a little bit as we <laughs> go about this, this little misfit crew of ours. I do know that my man Bowen here has a way to solve problems with words instead of this. He's a brolic dude, and I see the guns are out. But he's, it's really impressive his intellect and his passion for what he's talking about and how. The, in our first little meetup, I went straight in with some fire, but even though I know I could tell you're an, you're an earthbender, you did not go in as your first inclination to use your earthbending, but you went in to use words. And so I'm like, hmm, mm, you're, a different, you're a different kind of dude out here. Most guys I know from where I'm from are coming in hot, yeah. early, <laughs> quick. So I'm very impressed with what's going on here. This one, I know. I don't know you, but I know you. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. What about Bowen and Zibi? What do you think of your connections? So let's start with Sister Nianchi. Um, this little, what I might call just a little bit of a gnat, <laughs> is, yeah. is fairly uptight in the way that she approaches things. And I'm just here to do what I need to do. I don't need to follow any more rules. Um, but so I'm going to keep a, a quick eye on, on this one because she reminds me of someone I've left in the past. Now, um, Ezra. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> you said you, you called my name. Though Ezra is quite amazing. Mm. I'm not going to put my finger on that right away because he holds everything very close. Can mm -hmm. I trust that? Plus, he's a firebender. Mm -hmm. I need to be aware and careful about that. Mm -hmm. Now, Bowen, very, very interesting. He's like a beefcake, but uh, has some words going on. What is that about? It's, it's not something I, uh, I don't know, I'm used to. It's like this sort of uh, wall that has this zen-like quality. <laughs> you know, I, I think I could use that to my advantage um, if need be. But uh, yeah, so it should be really interesting. I, I don't know. I, mm -hmm. I've never quite met anybody like that. Perfect. So, yeah. All right, great. Oh, and yeah. Bowen. Bowen, you know, Sister Nian, she is my ward. They need me to have their back. End of story. <laughs> uh, you know, I've been watching over her for a while and will continue to do so. And ZB looks like they're more than capable without my help. I'm glad some of us can take care of ourselves, you know. I'm seeing the seeing done, and you know, I know Ezra's from the street, so I got my eye on him. <laughs> got my eye on you, you little. Mm -mm. Flamey win. <laughs> yes. Flamey o, hot man. Flamey o, yes, but you'll, you'll find out more of my connection to Earth King later on with my style, my firefighting style. Oh, well, if you want to find out the secrets of this scroll and see how these four protect Princess Zaysan, follow the link in the description below, and we'll see you there. <laughs>